Hello, welcome to the video to learn how to install and set up a laptop installation of CCH ProSystemFX Tax. A laptop installation of tax preparation allows you to check out returns from your network or office installation of the program to your laptop. You can then take your laptop out of the office to your client's office or wherever you need to work on the return and then when you return to the office check the return back into your network or office installation of CCH ProSystemFX Tax. This video will explain how to both install a laptop installation and configure it to allow you to check out returns. In order to use a laptop installation, you must have an install of the tax program installed to a network drive in your office, be licensed for more than one user, and have user sign-on enabled. To begin, I'm going to assume that you are at a laptop computer that has never had CCH ProSystemFX Tax installed to it. The first thing that we need to do is to run Workstation Setup from your network install of the tax program. To do that, we need to browse out to the network drive that you install the tax program to, open WFX32, and run WS Setup. As you can see on my screen, I've browsed out to my network drive M, I've opened the WFX32 folder, and I've located the WS Setup file. To run it, I'll double click on it, and the Workstation Setup window will appear. On the first screen, we need to select Setup Icons, which is already selected, and then click OK through the rest of the windows and Setup on the last window. Workstation Setup will run, and it typically takes a minute or two to complete. When it's finished, you'll have an icon group labeled ProSystemFX Tax, and we need to open Office Manager. When Office Manager opens, the first thing that we need to do is click on Configure Staff. When the Configure Staff window opens, locate the user that you want to set up a laptop installation for, and double-click on that user. When the Staff Configuration window opens for the user that you want to set up a laptop installation for, write down the user ID and the first name and last name for that user. We'll need that later in the process. We will also need to make sure the user has access to Office Manager in the Program Access section of this window, as well as Check In and Check Out Rights in the Office Manager Access section. When finished, close this window in the previous one to return to Office Manager. Next, we'll want to click on the Configure Firm button in the upper left-hand corner and click on the Remote Setup tab. If you have never set up a laptop installation before, this window will be blank. The first thing that we need to do is set up an Office ID and My Office name. We can do that by clicking Add My Office. I recommend naming these in a way that references that this is your office or network installation of the tax program. For the purpose of this video, I'm going to name them both Network. At the bottom of this window, I will leave both selected and click OK. In the Remote Office Information window, I need to add a remote office. To do that, I'll click on Add Remote Office and enter in a remote office ID and name. This ID and name represents the laptop that you're setting up. So for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to name it Laptop. You may have multiple users with laptops, so you may want to use something like Bob's Laptop or Jane's Laptop to designate which laptop it is that you're setting up. The next thing that I need to do is check the box next to Allow Remote Site to access my office's data and then click Set Up Remote Users. In the window that appears, click Add. And remember when we first opened up Office Manager and went to Configure Staff and we wrote down the user ID and the first and last name of the user that we're setting this up for? This is where we need to enter that information exactly how it appeared in the Configure Staff window. At the bottom of this window, make sure that both boxes are checked to allow users to both check in and check out returns and click OK. From here, we just need to close out of these windows to return to Office Manager, and then close Office Manager. On your desktop, you should have an icon group for CCH Pro System FX Tax. In it, go ahead and double-click on Workstation Setup. This time, 
when the workstation setup window appears, we need to select the fourth option, the setup laptop as a standalone system, and click OK. The next window will ask us to pick a year to install. Just as a side note, only the current and prior years are available in this drop down menu. Pick the year that you want to install and click OK. And then a window showing the tax products that you have installed on your network install will appear. Go ahead and check all of the tax products that you want to install on your laptop. I recommend installing them all, and you can do that by checking the box next to tax products, and then click OK. The following window will ask you which drive to install the laptop install to, which will be your local C drive, and click OK. And in the next window, Pro System FX Laptop is the correct program group, so we can click OK. And the next window will ask you to select the office groups that you want to copy from your network install to the laptop install. Once again, I recommend selecting everything here and click OK, and the laptop installation will begin. When it's finished, you'll get a window saying the laptop installation is complete. Click OK. And then you should have a new program icon group called Pro System FX Laptop. We want to open up Laptop Office Manager. When Laptop Office Manager opens, click on Configure Firm and the Remote Setup tab. The offices that you set up in this window in the network version of Office Manager are both listed at the bottom in the Remote Office Information box. In the top My Office Information, that window should be blank. We want to click Add My Office. This is the part that can get confusing. Remember on your network version of Office Manager, we had the network office ID listed in that top window and the laptop office ID listed in the bottom window. On the laptop version of Office Manager, we want to switch those around. So I want my office ID and office name to be the one that represents my laptop. And then I'll click OK. You'll notice that I still have my laptop office ID and office name in the bottom remote office information box. That's okay. That's not going to have an effect on this process. When you have entered the office ID and office name in the My Office Information window at the top, go ahead and click OK and we'll be returned to Laptop Office Manager. At this point in time, go ahead and close out of Laptop Office Manager. The user that you configured to be able to check in or check out returns can now log back in to Laptop Office Manager and check out a return. Thank you for watching the video on how to install and configure a laptop installation of CCH Pro System FX Tax. For more information on how to check in or check out returns to a laptop installation or on how to transfer authorizations to a laptop installation, visit us at support.cch.com and search for the titles listed on your screen or the article numbers listed below them. Thank you.